Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 1145, and this is Observer Radio News. I'm your host, Andrew Robichaud, and it's a sunny 10 degrees outside our East York studios. Here's what's on the page. Omar Cater's lawyers want prosecution evidence thrown out. The Jays lose a big one to Tampa Bay, and a new sitcom takes aim at Toronto's politicians. Now, for our top story. Omar Cater's lawyers, Barry Coburn and Kobe Flowers, are trying to have prosecution evidence excluded from the trial. Now, they say the defendant made self-incriminating statements after being captured because he was mistreated and tortured. The defense will push for this motion during pretrial hearings on Wednesday. Cater is being charged with murder in violation of the rules of war. In some local news, an estimated 100,000 people gathered downtown yesterday to celebrate the Sikh holiday, Khalsa Day. The annual event commemorates the birth of Sikhism in 1699 and the values of peace, harmony, and kindness the religion represents. The festivities began at the CNE and later ended up on Lakeshore Boulevard for a massive parade. It was an exciting and joyful day for the Sikh community that has recently been plagued by violence in the city. In some even more local news, police arrested 86 men in a Danforth prostitution sting yesterday. The men face a total of 95 charges for looking for sexual services in the area. Three others face extra charges of obstructing police, failure to comply with probation, and possession of cocaine. All the other suspects were released and will appear in court on June 3rd. To sports, the Blue Jays' bats couldn't support a decent pitching performance in a 6-0 loss to the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday afternoon. Pitcher Brendan Morrow went six innings, allowing only two runs while striking out eight. Aside from some really good pitching, the other bright spot was Jays catcher Jose Molina, who set a Major League Baseball record for throwing out four batters trying to steal. The Jays begin a three-game series at home tonight against the Boston Red Sox. To soccer, Toronto FC pulled out an impressive 2-0 win against the Seattle Sounders on Sunday. Captain Dwayne D. Rosario scored the first goal in the 58th minute and set up O'Brien White for the second in the 76th minute. The Reds play the Montreal Impact at BMO Field on Wednesday. The opening round of the NHL playoffs continues tonight with Game 6 between Montreal and Washington, Buffalo and Boston, and Nashville and Chicago. The Capitals, Bruins, and Blackhawks all lead their respective series 3-2. That's all for sports. Now for some entertainment. A new sitcom from a Toronto filmmaker is gathering inspiration from some of Toronto's most colorful politicians. The new show, She's the Mayor, created by Min Suk Lee, has characters and plot lines based on mayoral candidates Rob Ford and Giorgio Mammoliti. Lee says there's a lot of buffoonery and grandstanding. Centennial College instructor Sujit Varughese is a man with many irons in the fire. As a screenwriter and an actor, Varughese has been in show business for 20 years. Varghese's credits include writing on Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock and acting on CBC's Little Mosque on the Prairie. Because of his experiences being interviewed, Varghese has trained himself to speak to journalists. He knows how to make sure he's quoted and how to avoid being misquoted, which he says happens more than you'd think. I learned over 20 years of doing this to talk in sound bites for the benefit of journalists. Um, and it's much harder to make me look bad when, you know, you have to, you have to, you'd have to read cut the words and stuff, right, on, on film or on, on video. Whereas in a print thing, you can really be messed up because of, they just, they really can take things out of context. Uh, and you don't hear my tone of voice, you know, you don't hear my inflection. Varughese says learning to give good interviews can be beneficial for both actors and journalists. The actor gets his or her message across and the journalist gets a good story. In the box office, How to Train Your Dragon earned just over $15 million. The backup plan with Jennifer Lopez earned just over 12, And Date Night pulled in just under $11 million. And that's our show for now. You can find more news online at torontoobserver.ca. We'll have more news coming up shortly. But until then, I'm Andrew Robichaud. On behalf of all of us here at Observer Radio News, thanks for listening and have a great day.